Welcome to the official four weeks out video. We're officially 27 days away from competition day, which is so insane to think that we've been prepping and dieting for 10 weeks. Shut up. It's so crazy for me to think that it's been 10 weeks of this diet, but I am in the middle of a walk and I kind of just thought, shit, let me get the camera out and uh, I don't just randomly take my camera with me. So yeah, I did plan on filming this, um, but I just want to go over the protocol for week four real quick because we did make some slight change, or my coaches did make some slight changes to the plan. So, 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 so. So the number one change is we took chicken out of one meal and replaced it with five ounces of tilapia. It's just gonna lower that fat a little bit and it's basically the leanest form of protein you can get. Fish and shrimp have no fat. Cardio, cardio went from 30 minutes to 40 minutes and we didn't mess with anything else. Not the incline, not the speed, but oh my God, I'm gonna be walking up a mountain for 10 more minutes. Five times a week still, brutal. And then, they did it to me, I knew it was coming, it finally happened. Almond butter went from 26 grams in the morning to 20. Damn! Ah. Uh, this is my, I think this was my second day, this was my second day eating six less grams of almond butter, and I don't care what you say, I could notice a difference. Not a fan at all, but, Whatever is necessary to achieve the physique that we are trying to achieve But nonetheless, it's four weeks out. The days are ticking down 27 days. I'm ready. I'm hype I'm excited to dig and take my 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 body to a point that it doesn't want to go to but We really want to get it. To. So go ahead and hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload another video and then after that, go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, what's going on guys? So we made it to the gym this morning. It's Shit, it's like 6'10 right now and it's so much lighter than I'm used to it being. But, it's chest day. This is actually my first day of the gym this week, even though it's a Tuesday. Alex had me take two consecutive days off, which was the first time I've done that in this prep. And honestly, the first time I've taken two days back to back off in some months. It's been months since I've done that. Um, we did that because I was definitely holding a lot more water. Systematic stress is what he called it, and maybe that's why I wasn't dropping weight the way I should. But whatever whatever that extra day I rested yesterday worked because I hit a new low weigh-in this morning, 173.2, which is crazy because I was not expecting that at all, especially considering I ate that last meal of the night so damn late. like. I ate the meal, went right to bed, and I don't usually do that. So, we're gonna get in here, we're gonna hit chest. Um, I've been itching to get back in the gym. It felt so weird to not be in the gym for two days in a row. Like, I did not like the feeling at all. But, chest, shoulders, triceps, 40 minutes, and then I will give you guys a physique update at the end of the workout, too. So, I'll see you guys inside.
ones that'll get you for real. Oh shit. It's also the point in the workout where the pump cover come off. Six sets of 15 lateral raise, all drop sets. Shoulders are perfectly warmed up at this point, so no need to start light. I'm gonna start with 35. in like two minutes. Plus. That shit is painful, oh my god. Alright, so I'm going to try to give you guys a quick little physique update before my camera dies. It's literally blinking at me. But I woke up at 173.2 this morning, so feeling very lean overall. Um, feel like I'm still holding some water weight, but in all, um, yeah, I feel like that second rest day definitely benefited me. Ah, and now 40 minutes of cardio. I've been dreading it, but it's got to get done. See y'all in the next clip. I got sap on my hands and shit. I propped the camera up in the tree. This little gorilla pod is uh, finally coming handy. I'm, I've been filming outside um, a little bit for this video, and it's nice because I get really tired of sitting in the house. Like, I. I'm in the house, go to work, go to the gym, come back and sit in the house some more. So it's it's nice to get out, breathe some air, be surrounded by trees and shit, but now I got sap all over my hands. But anyway, so topic of this clip is, I kinda wanna get into what my purpose is for starting to take fitness as a whole seriously. And by seriously, I mean kind of allowing it to mold my life to an extent. So what my day to day is and what my short and long term goals are because at this point it is, I mean, it's the biggest aspect of my life. So, oh hell no. I promise something just dropped in my head, on my hair. That's what I always heard growing up is it ticks like dropping your hair from the tops of trees. But I never understood that because like the way I always heard, they always made it sound was like that they're like, they waiting for people to walk under the tree 
they looking like so they can fall on your head. So I never believed it, but damn, I better not have no, no, no tick in my head. Ah, anyways, all right, so it's like one of the number one things right off the bat is working out bodybuilding fitness is a continuous lifelong journey me knowing myself i will never reach my dream physique and it's something that takes so long like you hear all the time fitness working out is not a sprint it's a marathon and that couldn't be more true it's like there's so many marginal gains, small things that you do day in and day out. I literally have started looking at it as like a form of artwork. Like I'm literally sculpting my body. And I think that's such a dope perspective to look at it from because when you get really into it and you start to look at the science of things, you start to really take into account your nutrition. When you start to try to really perfect form, you drop the weight, you put the weight out the window and you start to really work on your form. You do the daily small things that, that separately might not amount to much, but added together accumulatively will transform your physique over the years and allow it to accelerate in a way to where over time it adds up to a huge difference in what you could look like. And that's just, that's the number one thing is it's something that I never have to stop looking forward to. Never, there will never be a day where I'm just, I look in the mirror and I'm like, yep, I'm done. That's it. That's it. Uh, so I think that's that's the number one thing for me. It's always something to strive towards, and it keeps me in check. Like it keeps me with a purpose. I've been on this prep for 10, 11 weeks at this point. It has taken this prep with me already. Have lift, been lifting for six consistent years. I've been lifting since 14, but it's taken me this prep to really realize that bodybuilding, fitness, is what I want to form my life around. It's taken this prep for me to realize that I wanna be elite at this shit one day. And with that now, I understand that that takes an incredible amount of attention to detail, an incredible amount of consistency and dedication and a huge amount of sacrifice and I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I uh, I know part of it is me being on prep and having to be so obsessed with the little details right now, but I'm ready to make those sacrifices and I'm ready to just dig. I'm ready. I mean, I've been eat, eating and breathing fitness and I'm so excited for this off season and it's just, uh, I've never been so excited about bodybuilding. In all honesty, I've never considered myself a bodybuilder until really recently. I've been just a dude, you know, that likes to work out, but this prep is changing everything for me. I, I'm i seeing the potential that I truly have as a competitor. Um, I have no issue saying that either because I know the dedication that I put into this shit. Um, and then connecting with people on social media, it's like, I feel very much where I'm supposed to be. I feel like, <laughs> and I, no bullshit, I feel like I found my purpose. I feel like I found my lane, my thing that I'm good at, my thing that keeps me driven, not just like a temporary interest, but the thing, I have goosebumps. I told you guys I get goosebumps when I talk about this type of stuff. I have goosebumps right now. You can kind of see them. Passionate. Passion is the number one word that comes to my mind when I think about how I feel about my fitness journey and where I want to take it. I'm so pumped for this show. We're gonna be three weeks out if you guys are watching this video and I could not be more excited. It's, I think about it going to sleep at night. It's the first thing I think about when I wake up. I daydream about it. It's completely consuming my mind right now and in the best way so bodybuilding is my shit i'm glad that i'm starting to see that i'm glad that i've documented this journey as far as i've documented it because looking back in years in the years to come it's gonna be wild to see where i started um physically with my physique right now and then mentality wise because i know i mean i'm 20 years old i'm gonna I plan on doing this YouTube shit. Like I plan 
on doing this YouTube shit. So, I'm so glad that I just, I'm, I'm so overall happy. Yes, I'm hungry. Yes, I don't get great sleep right now. Yes, I be running my body into the ground, but I am happy. And this is the first time I've been, I've had this true feeling and true amount of happiness and contentment in my life in like three years and it feels so good. <sighs> but I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Just wanted to, you know, kind of end it with a little bit of a heart to heart with you guys. And I say it in some videos, but I can't even convey. If you are consistently watching these videos, showing support, showing love, has sent me a kind message, hit the like button even. <clears throat> I cannot explain to you how much I appreciate that. Seeing that I can give even one person value, whether it be entertainment, education, inspiration, <laughs> like one person is enough. And I know that from what you guys have been telling me that you guys are really enjoying the content that I'm putting out. So that's really my goal with this entire YouTube. And um, I'm loving what I'm doing and I'm excited to keep doing it. So. I will see you guys in the next video where we will be three weeks out. See you on the next one.